This week is all about summer boredom busters. I have some great products to show you that will help kill that summer boredom because it's the middle of summer and we all need a little bit help with the kids, right? I also have some great giveaways, so make sure to watch all week. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and we are kicking off the Summer Boredom Buster Series Week of giveaways. <laughs> so I'm very excited because I teamed up with some really great uh, companies that give some really fun activities to do with your kids, and I can't wait to show you the products. Make sure to watch all week because I will have a giveaway at the end of the week of some of these great toys that you're gonna wanna get. And to enter, you can just enter as you would at any other contest, or you can watch for special clues hidden throughout all of my videos. So you can enter without the clues, but if you find the clues, you're gonna get some extra entries that just increase your chances to win. So the first company that has sponsored our videos this week is Educational Insights, and they have a ton of things that you can do with your kids, particularly outdoors. Start beating the summer boredom by heading off to the beach. This is the Great Excavations Turtle for ages three and up. It's five tools in one and it's meant to be tough so the kids can play with it. It is so cute and it comes with four tools built right in. Now you can use this at the beach, in the sandbox, in your yard, wherever you have anything that needs to be explored. The tools pop right off the turtle and you can use a brush, the tweezers, a little scooper, or the magnifying glass to examine your treasures. Best part about it is when you're done, all of the pieces fit right back in the turtle and you're good to go. And the turtle shell also functions as a sifter. Next we have the splash and catch. This thing is so cool and I highly recommend it. It's for ages three and up. What it is is this net that looks like a whale. It has a little handle here that the kids can hold on to and down at the bottom is the container that screws off and it has three little magnifying glass to examine your finds. It also comes with this water resistant splash and catch card so you can look at your specimens and compare it to what's on the card. We took this to a local pond. You could do the ocean, you can do any body of water that you have and it was so cool to see what was living inside of our ocean. You just dip the net right into the water and pull it up and all the specimens fall right inside the little jar and you can look directly on onto the card that they give you to see what might be floating in your pond, lake, river, stream, or ocean. And we did see some things. You can see them swimming around right inside here. And then we tried it a couple other times to see if we could find anything different. This was fascinating for our preschoolers and a great tool for learning. So I know what you're saying, we don't even live near a beach. Well, how about these little binoculars that you can take and explore in your own backyard or maybe at the park? The binoculars are recommended for ages eight and up and they are made to be kid proof. When you open up, you'll find that there's a little compass right on the front that will tell you which direction you're heading. There's a little ring that will change the focus. They adjust to the face so they go in and out and there's a great little string to hold it around your neck. This little book is awesome because it's actually a journal which you can write directly in and record all of your findings and also gives you some guided activities. We took ours to Hill Park and checked out what was up in the trees far away. And if you want to stick around at home, you could also try this science utility vehicle. This one was also recommended for ages three and up, and it can be used indoors or outdoors, which I think is great. We chose to try it indoors and just to look at some things that we found around the house. We placed it on an activity mat and I put some objects for them to find. And you just push down the top here and look inside and there's a magnifying glass that will magnify anything directly underneath it. This is great for outdoors too, if you're looking for bugs or things that might be crawling in the grass. There's a little knob here that you can turn to turn on the light that's on the bottom and also a little knob to change the focus and like I said you just gently push down here at the top and you can see directly underneath the truck this one was a lot of fun and if you're outside exploring you might find a couple of things that you want to bring inside and take a look under your first microscope the My First Microscope is for ages three and up. And what I really like about this is that you can use 3D objects or just flat objects. Anything you have around the house to get a closer look. My kids had a great time putting different objects right underneath the microscope. And what's great is that there's two eyepieces. So there's no squinting with one eye so the little ones can really get involved. There's a little light that you can push that turns it on and off. And also a focus ring on the side that you can turn to put the item or object right in focus. You can have hours and hours of exploring all kinds of different objects that you may have around the house with this one. If all that playing outside has gotten you tired, you can bring it in and do a quiet activity right before nap with the Once Upon a Craft Kit. 
The Once Upon a Craft Kit that we have is recommended for ages four and up, and this one's about the dancing princesses. What's really cool about this is it comes with a beautiful storybook, wonderfully illustrated, and you read the story before you begin the project. So this is really great for reading comprehension, which is why I like it. Then there's all of these pieces that go with the art kit for a no mess art project and also this board that you would use to recreate the story with the figures that you've created. And if you've made it through the day beating summer boredom and the sun comes down and it's nighttime, you might wanna try a moon scope. This moon scope is pretty amazing and it's recommended for ages eight and up. This one's so cool because it comes with two different millimeter eyepieces that are all glass, a moon filter, and also the telescope itself is made out of real glass too. There's a tripod that comes with it that has a little red LED light, and it's really easy to set up and use right away when it gets dark at night to check out the moon. The instructions are very simple to follow, and there's even this great activity journal to really get your kids involved in the science of astronomy. So those are some fabulous summer boredom busters from Educational Insights. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you were to win which one you'd like. We have the Great Excavation Turtle, the Splash and Catch Net, the Science Utility Vehicle, Binoculars, the My First Microscope, Once Upon a Craft, or the Moon Scope. Once again, let me know down in the comments which one you would like if you were to win. Stay tuned all week. I'll be in talking about the giveaway and how to enter on Friday. And we'll talk about more summer boredom busters as we go on throughout the week. Make sure to keep watching for those clues. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.